Hello and welcome back. Today we understand how to set up home screen configuration on iOS devices. The home screen configuration template allows you to remotely manage the layout of apps on a supervised device. To configure the same, go to the Mars 360 portal home page, click on securities and then policies. On your right upper side, you will see an option more. Click on that and select iOS home screen configuration. Click on add template to create a new template. Now the template page is displayed. You will see a template screen with default home screen layout is being displayed. Provide a template name as per your convenience. You can click on the plus icon on the bottom right of the layout to add apps, web apps or folders. Let's name our first folder productivity where we will store all the productivity apps. You can click on the newly created folder, select the plus button and add more apps. Here we can add any number of corporate apps, app store apps or system apps from the search engine. Now let's add multiple applications to this productivity folder. Once you're done, you can click on the cross sign to close the folder. You can also drag and drop apps on top of other apps to create a folder. Let's name this one system apps so we can store all our system apps in this folder. Since a lot of system apps are already on the screen, we just need to drag these apps on top of these folders. We can do the same with multiple apps and the screen will automatically adjust for the same. You can also navigate between the dock screens by clicking on the arrow button on the left and the right. You can add additional dock pages based on your requirements and click on the plus icon to add apps, folders, and web apps as required. Let's create a fresh folder for entertainment and add apps like YouTube, Amazon Music, and other entertainment apps inside this folder. Click on the tiny cross button to navigate out of the folder. Verify your configuration template by going through all the pages. Make any additional changes wherever required. Make sure you give appropriate folder name to each of your folders. Once you are happy with your configuration screen, click on save. This saves your home screen configuration template as office template. The template is successfully saved with the correct timestamp on it. Let's apply this home screen configuration on one of the policies. For that, click on security and go to policies. We will add a new policy here by clicking on the add policy button. Make sure you give appropriate name and select iOS MDM as type. In this example, we will be starting from a pre-existing policy. Once all the fields are selected, click on continue. On the policy screen, we will click on supervised settings and go to the home screen tab. We will allow configure home screen layout and select office template as the home screen template. Then click on next, next and publish and confirm your publish policy changes. After which you will be prompted to enter your password for another layer of security check. This step saves and completes our home screen policy configuration. You can now notice the change in the version and the last published policy date. Now let's go ahead and apply these policy changes on our device. For that, click on device and select the device you want to apply this policy change on. Click on more and select on change policy to change the current policy. Let's select the desired policy, in our case home screen policy. Click on submit and put in the password for an additional security layer. We see that the request to change policy has been successfully submitted and the applied policy has changed to MDM home screen. To confirm the same on the device, click on general, go to VPN and device management, click on mask 360 MDM profile and more details. We can see that the home screen layout configuration has already reached the device. Now let's confirm the same on our home screen. On observing the home screen, we see a folder with system apps with all the system apps in it as intended. We also see the productivity folder with all the productivity apps. The phone apps contain messages and phone. And on the last screen, we have the entertainment folder with YouTube and Amazon Music as intended.
let's go back and add another app to our home screen configuration template. Go to security, policies, more and home screen configuration. We will view our office template and edit the same. Click on the plus icon to add a new app. We will now search and add F5 access app. After adding this app, let's also move it to the last screen by dragging and pushing it to the last screen. Once you're done with your editing, click on save. You will be informed about all the policies the template is currently applied to and will have to go on to republish them. Click on save. Confirm that the template is successfully updated. Once it is successful, we will go back to our policy page. On the policy page, we can notice that our home screen policy needs to be published. To republish the policy, click on view. Let us reconfirm our changes by editing, going to supervise settings, clicking on home screen and confirming that our template, office template is there. Click on next, next and publish. We see that it impacts one device. Add your password for another layer of security check. Once we confirm, our publish policy change is successful. We can cross verify our changes by looking at the device. On the device, on the last screen where we had added the F5 access app, we see that the app is present, hence confirming our change. And that's how we apply home screen configuration to an iOS device. Thank you for watching.